Romeo has fled, banished to a city called Mantua, leaving Juliet alone and knowing that she may never see him again. Her family wanted a more severe punishment for Romeo, so now there's absolutely no question of Juliet telling them about the marriage. What is she going to do now? Morning, daughter. Are you awake? Ah, oh, yes. And her mother's coming. Why? Lord Capulet was seen speaking with Count Paris yesterday, and Paris left looking very happy. Oh, I'm just guessing, but I have a feeling our Lady Capulet has some news to share. What's the matter, Juliet? I am not well. Are you still crying over your cousin's death? Stop your crying. Now, I have happier news. Some good news is needed at this time. What is it, may I ask? Oh, Juliet, I think I know what's coming. Brace yourself. Well, early next Thursday, the brave, young and noble gentleman, the Count Paris, shall make you a happy bride at St. Peter's Church. I beg you, tell my father I will not get married. Well, that was one way to handle it. That's not going to go down well. Here comes your father. Tell him yourself, and see how he takes it from you. Oh, what's the matter? Still crying? How goes everything? Have you told our daughter the news? I have. She gives you thanks, but she will not do it. Lord Capulet is not going to like this one bit. You wretched and disobedient daughter. I tell you what. You will be at the church on Thursday morning, or you won't be allowed to live here anymore. Don't speak. Do not reply. Do not answer me. You're wrong to shout at her like that. And why is that, Lady Wisdom? Hold your tongue. Whoa. I have never seen him like that. How can he be so cruel? To tell Juliet that he'll send her away if she doesn't marry Paris? Oh, sweet mother. Don't let him treat me this way. Delay this marriage for a month, a week. Don't talk to me. I won't say a word. Do as you please. I'm done with you. Poor Juliet. Oh, nurse. How can this be prevented? Give me some comfort. Here's what I think. Romeo is banished. As that's how things are, I think it's best you marry Paris. You're lucky to have this chance. Seeing as you can't be with Romeo. She can't get married twice. Her husband Romeo is still very much alive. Well, that's no help to me. I've upset my father, so I need to go to church and confess. Go and tell my mother that I have gone to Friar Lawrence's. I will. And that is a good idea. I'll go to see Friar Lawrence and ask for his help. I can only hope that Friar Lawrence can talk sense with her. Surely, someone needs to tell the Capulets to calm down and explain what's happened. Everything is getting way out of hand now. Talk about bad timing. Paris is at Friar Lawrence's, making plans for his marriage to Juliet. The Friar looks uneasy. So he should, to be honest. Now he's faced with a wedding between two people, one of whom he knows is already married because he was the one who carried out the wedding. I'm so happy to see you, my lady and my wife. That may be the case when I am a wife. That maybe will be next Thursday when we are married. What must be will be. Are you free now, Holy Father? Oh, shut the door and when that is done, come and weep with me. I am past hope, past cure, past help. Ah, Juliet, I already know why you're so upset. Don't tell me you've heard about it unless you know how to stop it. Speak quickly. Can you help me in any way? Hold on, Juliet. There is a ray of hope. I have an idea, but you'll need to experience a very deep sleep. So deep that others may think you are dead. If you dare to do it, I'll tell you what to do. Tell me, please! What is he doing? Oh, I'm in shock. The friar is giving her a sleeping potion that will make her appear dead. He's telling her to go home, to tell everyone she's changed her mind and that she's going to marry Paris. He says she should go to bed and take the potion which will put her into the 
deepest sleep. They'll find her the next morning and think she's dead. But she'll wake up two days later. Oh, this sounds like a ridiculous plan. Now go. Be strong and good luck. I'll send a friar to Mantua at speed with a letter for Romeo. Goodbye. The friar has promised to send a letter to Romeo, telling him of the plan so that he can come and get Juliet when she wakes up. And then, Romeo and Juliet may be able to escape together. I really don't like this. Oh, Friar Lawrence, I hope you know what you're doing.